G'day, it's Ross Wilson from Avio Turbo World. Today in our Project GT7, we're going to fit our Avio Turbo World Turbo Kit. We're going to be taking some videos along the way to help you when you do your DIY install to understand the process that's involved. Let's take a look at the kit. Okay, so it took about two hours to get to this stage where we removed the factory bumper, uh, fitted the front mount intercooler. As you see, the front mount intercooler bolts up to all the plastic under trays. We actually have our own uh, air shrouds that uh, shroud the air into the intercooler. Uh, the stainless steel piping uh, all bolts on. So probably about another hour to put the bumper and everything back on, but all in all about three hours just to get to this stage here. Just another tech tip, when you're fitting the turbo manifold, you'll see that the gasket has a bulge on one side and one side is flat. Always fit the flat side of the gasket to the cylinder head and the bulge side goes to the turbo manifold, like that. As you can see, we have our turbo assembly already bolted up to the vehicle. This took about two hours to do. The front pipe was already on the vehicle from our NA tune. Uh, so as you can see, it bolts straight up to the turbocharger assembly. The whole assembly comes out of the box like this, so it's already got the oil scavenge tank on there. The only thing that you really need to do is just hook up the water lines and the oil lines and the intake pipe that goes back to the air box. Here's a bit of a tech tip. On the factory oil pump, when you pull it off, you'll see when you pull it off, it's really caked in the high temp silicon sealant. So when you go to fit the AVO Turbo World oil scavenge pump for the turbo, you'll see it comes with this plate, adapter plate. You must use a high temperature silicon that you can get from any auto parts shop. Make sure that when you put it on, you put the silicon on nice and thick So cake it on nice and thick, right? Then you fit the plate first to the engine block. Then you put silicon on the front side. Then you fit the oil pump to the engine. Okay, that's what the oil pump looks like when it's all in place. As you can see, the orange silicon's kind of good out nicely. Then a lot of people ask what the bolt is we supply in the kit. The bolt is to block the oil supply from the original brake air pump as that's not being used anymore. Okay, so the PCV valve system is something that most people get a little bit confused with. So what I want to do is just explain uh, this assembly here so when you go to install it on your car you don't have any issues. What we supply is a block fitting that goes in the block. You need to remove the, the standard PCV out of the block, replace it with the AVO block fitting. Then what happens is, is you have a straight piece, then you have the T piece. This part of the T goes back to the inlet pipe. That's the breather. Then it goes up here, then it has our one-way PCV valve that's for high boost, right? Then what you do is you cut the factory hose that was already there and fit it to the top of the PCV valve. So what it does is when the intake manifold's pushing boost, the PCV valve closes, right? So there's no boost pressure going to the block at all. Then what happens is under vacuum, when it, when it comes open under vacuum, it sucks all the, the uh, engine block vacuum uh, oil smell up back into the intake manifold. Also, it does bleed it back off into the intake system. So. That there is the assembly, what it should look like before you put it in the car. Okay, so we've got the turbo assembly all on underneath. We've got the intercooler assembly on. Now we've done the engine bay. The piping in the engine bay took about two hours to do. Uh, that was including putting the scavenge pump on and running the blow-off valve and the PCV valve system. 
the, the main things, I, I've got some other little videos on the PCV valve and the scavenge pump. Uh, they're the main two things that you really need to pay attention on the engine bay. Otherwise, the main thing is making sure that when you put the blower valve on, that you always put the blower valve to the right direction. Pressure is always straight up and the vent is out. A lot of people make a mistake with this and put the blower valve around backwards. That's the only real thing that you really need to pay attention with in the engine bay. Uh, the other one thing that you really need to look at is that on our scavenge tank for the turbo, we have a breather that runs from the scavenge tank back up to the oil filler cap here. Right, what this is, is that if the scavenge pump ever decides to stop, which it never will, that it's got a bypass where the oil can bypass back into the engine. Next step, we'll get it on the dyno.